What's going on everybody? This is Bio here and I wanted to do a uh, quick little video here on flying in Battlefield 3, especially when it comes to jets or mostly when it comes to jets because I know for me personally I had a hell of a time, <laughs> hell of a time getting acclimated to flying. I was crashing and burning a lot and that is definitely not a metaphor. I was, I was doing bad. It was bad news bears. So I wanted to go ahead and do a video here for those who would be interested on flying and getting better at it pretty quick here. So the first thing you're going to want to do right off the bat here is throw your mouse and keyboard out the window whenever you get inside a jet. Just whoosh, I, don't, I don't care if the window is still closed. Just throw it right out. I mean, obviously don't do that. Just so uh, just leave it there. But um, what you're going to want to do is you want to get a controller or a joystick. Go ahead and plug that right in and just leave it off to the side whenever for whenever you jump into a plane. And you want to do this because it is much easier to control a joystick, or excuse me, much easier to control an aircraft with a joystick or controller. Biggest reason for that is because you can continuously pitch the aircraft, whereas with a mouse, you you have to you know have to be pushing up with the mouse to get it to pitch up, and eventually you're gonna to have to bring it back to keep pitching, and so you're gonna lose that time there. And also, I think for most people, it's just kind of more intuitive to use something like a joystick or a uh, uh, controller. Or at least for me, it was. I don't. Maybe not everybody. Maybe you can do a little bit better with the mouse. But I, I feel like it's definitely much easier with a joystick or a controller, and especially for that continuous turning reason. So, do that as soon as you can. And once you have a controller or a joystick, get used to the controls. Get acclimated to them as soon as you can. Make them exactly how you want them. Make them exactly how your brain thinks. And you especially want to get used to the controls that people don't use as much. So, I mean, you have your basic things, you know, the throttle, shooting, turning, or pitching and uh, rolling, I should say. But you want to also be able to, you know, deploy your countermeasures right when you need to. And uh, also, for, for countermeasures, wait until you hear a solid uh, noise. If it's just beeping for a warning sign, that means they have a lock on you, but they haven't shot it yet, so don't waste it. Wait until uh, they have actually shot it and it's a solid noise. But uh, yeah, so get used to controls. The big one is spotting or uh, tagging. Spot and tag, or, or tag, I should say, it's the same thing. Spot all aircraft as soon as you can because it makes it much easier to find them. If you're dogfighting them and you lose them, you know, they might be blending in with the scenery if you're just doing a quick glance or they might just be outside the range of your view, but because you spotted them, you can see them now. Spot aircraft as much as you can. It makes it way easier to dogfight. And also, as I said, when it comes to range of view, you're also going to want to, or at least that I do this, and not everybody has to do this, I should say. <laughs> these are just, you know, some of these things are subjective, but I feel pretty much everything I'm saying is going to help. Uh, when you are dogfighting and you don't know where a person is, or they're, you know, outside of your range of view, go ahead and take the view to the outside air of the aircraft, and you're going to want to do this because you get a wider range of view, and also it just, it makes it easier for me to spot, because uh, I, I don't know, I don't know what it is, but you know, if there's like an enemy and he's going straight and I just can't see him because he's blending or something, whatever, for whatever reason, whenever I take that outside view, it's easier for me to find him. But yeah, definitely take that outside view because you get a much wider range of view. Uh, when it comes to when it comes to turning the aircraft, if you're in a dogfight and someone's behind you, so you want to try and get on behind them, or you just want to try and dodge them, go as slow as you can without stalling. A lot of people make the mistake of speeding up, of hitting the throttle, and that makes it for you that makes you turn much slower you have a much larger radius of turn than you would have had otherwise so you want to go as slow as possible without stalling because you can make much tighter turns and it'll be harder for people to follow you just like I said be careful you don't stall I think the stall speed is somewhere around like the 180 mark don't, don't quote me on that but it's somewhere around there so go as slow as you can and for God's sakes do not pitch up and do a backflip towards the sky. That is the easiest thing to follow. <laughs> Every time someone does that, I just I blow them right out of the sky. If you if you do find yourself doing that, at least turn at the same time so you're making it somewhat difficult for someone to follow you. But don't just do a straight backflip because that'll get you killed very easily. Uh, one last thing here I want to mention for micro adjustments. If you, you know, you're trying to get a bead on a tank or whatnot, use the yaw instead of the pitch and roll because the yaw, it turns the aircraft without having to have you roll it. So it's more like a car turn kind of it keeps you on the same plane. Uh, ha ha, punny. Uh, it keeps you on the same plane. Whereas if you know you roll the aircraft, you know, you, you take yourself off, and it makes it, a, it rolling and pitching is hard to get a beat on something. If all you need to do is make a tiny little adjustment, so get used to using the yaw. It makes it much easier to take out helicopters and tanks and small targets like that, and to an extent even airplanes as well. So uh, I think I have my yaw on my left analog stick and my uh, pitch and roll on my right analog stick. But you can put yaw on your left to right bumper if that's better for you. However your brain thinks, but that is it for this video guys. I thank you for watching and I will catch you later.